Okay, boys and girls, it's time to start learning some JavaScript comparison and logical operators. And first we'll start off with the comparison operators, which are equality, inequality, identifier, and strict equality, non-identifier, strict equality, greater, the greater than operator, the less than operator, the greater or equal operator, and less than or equal operator. So JavaScript has both strict and type converting comparisons. A strict comparison like triple equal is only true if the operands are of the same type and the same contents match. The more commonly used abstract comparison, the double equal converts the operands to the same type before making the comparison. For relational abstract comparisons, for example, less than equal, the operands are first converted to primitives, then to the same type before comparison. Okay, so enough with the definitions, let's start out with our first, the equality operator. And I'm going to initialize here a variable, so let's just call it let and statement. Okay, so let's name statement and I'm going to assign it to a number, let's say 300, like the Spartans. Okay, so let's start with the equality operator. The equality operator converts the operands only if they are not of the same type, then applies strict comparison. If both operands are objects, then JavaScript compares internal reference which are equal when operands refer to the same object in memory. So let's just give an example and you will get the drift. So I know we didn't le learn about if statements, but this is going to happen in this section right here. So let's start with an if, and let's say if the statement, so our statement is double equal to, let's say 301, then let's console log correct and let's close it up and now else if it's not then let's console log incorrect and it should be a string so first of all let's change it to 300 so as you can see it is correct it is 300 300 is equal to 300 and if i would change this to 301 then it's incorrect so that's basically the equality operator. Now let's do the same thing for the inequality. And the inequality operator returns true if the operands are not equal. So it's basically reversed. If the two operands are not of the same type, JavaScript attempts to convert then operands to the appropriate type of the comparison. If both operands are objects, then JavaScript compares internal reference which are not equal when operands refer to the different object in memory. So let's give an example and for this we're going to start with an if statement again. And let's say that the statement is not equal to 300 and we will console log correct again. I'm still typing in with a small c. Okay, and else we will console log incorrect. Okay, so let's see what happens. So is 300 not equal to 300? Well, it's incorrect. Let's see, 301. Now it's correct. So the statement, which is 300, is not equal to 301. And it is correct now. If I would change it to 300, and we'll ask, hey, is 300 the statement, this variable, is it not equal to 300? It's incorrect because it's equal to 300. Okay, now comes the really important part. The identify strict equality operator. And in most cases, I will always suggest to use this one instead of this one. And we'll see why. So first of all, the identity operator returns true 
if the operands are strictly equal, so both the value and the type are equal. And believe me, in most cases, you want them to be strictly equal. So I'm just going to copy this. And let's hit save. And now I'm going to type in here a triple equal and let's see what happens. It's correct. So what would happen up here? So at our first console log, if I would change this to 300, so now it's correct, okay? But I would change it to a string. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we have correct. Although this is technically, well, in this case, it is correct, but let's take a look down here. If I change this into a string, triple equal, let's change it into a string, and now it's incorrect. Because not only that it needs to be the number 300, but it also has to be a number. And now we have a string. So up here, we're only checking. Uh, so up here, we're only checking, well, uh, is the number equal? Is the value equal? And the value, yeah, yes, it is equal. But the type, the type is not equal. And this will come really handy further on in the course. You will see why. So let's move on with our non identity you know, strict inequality. Well, actually, let me give you a second example for this. If I would create another one, statement, let's say two, and I would assign it to 300. And let me actually convert this to a string. And I'm going to check this again. And I'll say that this, see what this happens. So now it's correct because it's now also the type and the value is correct. Just wanted you to have both examples. Oh, like it changes to 200 and 200 and there we go. Okay, so now let's move on to the strictly inequality. The non-identity operator returns true if the operands are not equal and are not of the same type. So let's give a few examples for this. So let's say if oh, we're going to take our statement again, and actually this should be in parentheses. So our statement is not equal to the string of 300. Then return, I'm just going to copy uh, this part. And we don't need this one and else it should return incorrect. So let's see. We have correct. So we have up here, we have 300. And we're checking is the type and the value not equal to the string of 300. And yes, it is not equal because up here we have a number of 300. And down here we have a string of 300. Now let's check the same thing for our statement two. So let's change this down here. And now we get incorrect because the statement two is a string of 200. And we are checking it against a string of 200. It is absolutely equal. So this one is true and this one is false. Now here I could give you another example is also useful, we could check for existence. So does something exist? So let me just initiate another let with existence, let's call it just existence. And let's type in here name, so string name Norbert. And now let's say if the type of, okay, so you do remember the type of existence, we're going to take our variable, is not equal to undefined and know what undefined does now then let's console log and i'm going to type in here template literal this statement is and now let's use a dollar sign and let's pass in here the variable of existence and it exists. 
and now else. Let's console log another template literal of no statement. Okay, so let's check this out. So we're checking this string. So the type of existence. So actually, let me just console log here the type. Console log type of existence. And this should return a string. Okay, so we have here a string. Let's comment this out. So we're checking if it's not undefined. Because if I would just initiate, so let me copy this, comment the, this one out and just initiate it. Let's see what happens now. No statement. Okay, because it's undefined. If I would now hear console log. So we're now console logging existence again. You see, it prompts undefined. And now this one is true. Okay, next up, let's learn about the greater than operator. And this is pretty simple. So let me just actually let me copy this one. Right here. And now is the first statement greater than 300. Let's see what we get. Incorrect. Is it greater than 200? Yes, it is. Is it greater than 100? Still correct. Is it greater than 500? No, it's not greater than 500 because we had 300. Okay, now the less than operator. So is our statement less than 500? Yes, it is. Is it less than 100? No. Is it less than 400? Yes. Is it less than 200? No. Okay, so these are pretty straightforward. Now let's check out the greater than or equal. And can reverse this. So be careful, this is this way, okay? It's not equal and then this, because this is the error function and we'll learn about them later on in the course. But just remember, it's always the greater or less operator first, and then the equality. Okay, so now we're checking, is the statement greater or equal with 200? And we're getting correct. Is it greater or equal to 100? Is it greater or equal than 400? And we get now incorrect because 300 is not greater or equal to 400. And is it greater or equal than 300? Yes, it's equal. It's not greater, but it is equal to 300. Okay, now the less than or equal operator. So we're going to change this in this direction now. Okay, so this one works, but as I said, don't do something like this because this doesn't exist in JavaScript. Is the statement less than or equal to 300? Yes, it is. Is it less than or equal to 400? Yes, it is. Is it less than or equal to 200? No, it's not because we had here in the statement 300. Okay, so these are pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Okay, guys, in the next video, we're going to learn about the else if and else. So, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.